I am one with my I am presence. My holy Christ self. My personalities. My body elemental. And my new spirit. Every part of my being is in balance, harmony, and alignment. As I open my heart and mind to receive the full activity of the love and light of beloved Lord Metatron. Hello everyone and greetings once again as I come to share the fullness of my love and light with all life forms everywhere. There is nothing but the pure light of God arriving upon the planet at this time. This light is the great tsunami of light that has been prophesied for many eons of time. And many beings are waiting in the background, as it were, watching and assisting as the earth and all of her life forms evolve and transcend into a higher frequency of expression. This does, of course, involve the letting go of the lower vibrations. This translates in your world as a release and a letting go of old habits, old thoughts, old feelings that no longer serve your highest expression. This process can be quite easy if you maintain your vision on looking towards that which you are to gain instead of looking upon that which you are losing. For you cannot lose anything that is of the light and of the goodness of the higher frequencies of existence. You can only lose or let go of that which will not make it into the new vibration. So make this easy on yourselves, my beloved children. Learn to focus on that which you are becoming, on that which you wish to see manifest in the world. For most of you truly do desire peace for all beings. Most of you truly desire a heart filled with love for all of life. Most of you truly wish to live in existence of pure and utter joy. All of these are possible. They are indeed your birthright. But they can only come forth as you let go of the old vibrations. Every time you bring to mind something that makes you feel sad, 
angry, upset, discordant in any way whatsoever, you are lowering the vibration of your entire being into that particular frequency. Anytime you focus on joy, love, peace, or any of the divine qualities, you are raising your entire being into a higher frequency. So let this be the movement that you choose. Choose always to raise your frequency. Become aware of what each and every activity that you engage in does to your level of vibration. Does it raise it or does it lower it? It is not a question of good and bad. For that which may be good for someone else in their particular stage of evolution is not good for you. So look to see what raises your particular vibration. This is a process of mastery, my beloveds. You must discover what is in your highest and best interests, regardless of what the same element or activity, food or thought may do for another. If it is not having the desired effect within your own being, abandon it as quickly as you possibly can. In this way, you will come to know yourself. You will come to know what raises your vibration. And as you come to know yourself, you will come to trust yourself. For your I Am Presence, your God Self, is always communicating with you, guiding you with that still small voice to do what is in your highest and best interest. But you must follow what this Divine Self tells you in order to reap the results. If you hear it and make another choice that lowers your frequency, then that is all that you have done. If you hear it, obey it, and raise your frequency, you will find your trust growing. And as your trust grows, the guidance will be louder and stronger and more insistent because your divine self will know that you are at last listening to it and following its directives. This will ease your path and accelerate your path as well. We can make this transition very easily, joyfully, with ecstasy and amusement. Or we can make it in dread, hesitation, uncertainty, and be pushed by life's circumstances to abandon those things which we once had the choice to give up of our own free will.
I am using the we form because we are one with you and we experience your pain and your joy not in the same way that you do but we are aware of it and we do rejoice in your joy and we have great compassion for your pain and we are doing this with you And this we refers to the entire hierarchy of light beings that is assisting the earth and all of humanity in her transition. You are never alone in this, not for one second. But you can only feel and appreciate the assistance once you willingly ask for it and open yourself to receive it. This is how the process unfolds for everyone. There are no special beings on this planet who are getting a free ride into ascension. There is no one waving a magic wand and granting you the perfection that you seek. There is no spaceship that you can be lifted into in order to undergo your own ascension. It can only be gained by individual effort persistence, dedication, and faith and trust in the process. But it will be so worth your while, beloveds. If I could show you the world as it will be in a short time in the future, you would know in this very instant how worthwhile all your efforts are to achieve this state. You do have the choice to make the path easy or difficult for yourself. But remember that everything that you do for yourself has an influence on the entire consciousness of humanity and all of the life forms evolving on the earth. For you are and always have been one with all life. Your very thoughts and feelings go out to the edges of the universe and fill all space. So you are either adding to the light or the darkness with every thought and feeling that you have. This is not meant to be a burden. It is simply one of the laws of existence in this universe. And as you become aware of the laws that operate, you can use them for the betterment of all. This is what was intended when it is said in the Bible that you shall have dominion over all things. It was not meant that you were free to exploit and use up everything that appears on this planet 
for your use. It was meant that you were to be a loving mother or father to all of life everywhere. And to provide the conditions and circumstances in which all life forms might attain their ultimate perfection. That is what is meant to have dominion, domine, to be as God in the world. And God is pure love and pure light and sustains the perfection of all life forms. For God has created all life forms and wishes them all to thrive. And God is pure love and pure light and sustains the perfection of all life forms. For God has created all life forms and wishes them all to thrive in a perfect environment adapted to their needs. So you have the choice in this very moment to adjust your way of thinking and to decide to become a god or a goddess in this world by seeing everything in your surroundings as a part of your creation and helping all things to thrive. As you do this, you will find yourself open to receiving infinite amounts of light that that light might pour through you out into your creation. That light is full of love, kindness, compassion, and wisdom. For it is important to know what the life forms need. And only your God Self can tell you this. Your mind is full of facts and data from which you draw conclusions about what you think your loved one needs, your business needs your garden needs, what anybody or anything else needs. When that comes from your mind, it is sometimes close to being right, but it is rarely perfect. For what a being needs in this particular now moment is not the same as what it needed yesterday or what it will need tomorrow. But your God Self, which is always one with everything and everyone else, always knows what that thing or person needs in this now moment. So ask your God Self to guide and direct you at all times so that everything you do might be a blessing to the world around you.
Blessings are much needed at this time. And it is through those of my children who are open to receiving the maximum amount of love and light that I can pour through the greatest blessings. And your joy will increase as you see those blessings unfold in those you love. and in those things for which you are responsible at this time. So you see, ascension, love, and light are not about withdrawing from the world and going into a cave to become enlightened. It is about enlightening yourself right here, right now, where you are, and by your own enlightenment, enlightening everything and everyone around you. This is the ascension process in its simplest form and explanation. So get busy with it, my beloveds. Get busy being the love and the light in the world. Let this be the focus of every activity. And if you find that an activity is not in alignment with this love and this light, let go of it, for it no longer serves you. No matter how much joy or satisfaction it brought you in the past, if you cannot be yourself in this activity now, then it is no longer your time to be in that activity. It may still be perfect for someone else, so do not judge anyone who continues to do that. Do not judge anyone for anything or any reason. Simply pull your own energies back within your own self and surround that self with all the love and the light that you possibly can. And go forward in your own life, taking care of your own business, responding to those who come into your life with the greatest love and light that you possibly can and move on whether or not they receive your love and light. Be in your own truth at all times and care not what reaction you get from others. Some will appreciate it and some will not, but that is not your concern. Your concern is to be yourself, to be the best that you can be in each and every moment. And know that I am with you, that your I am presence is constantly guiding you, that there are angels and archangels and light beings from all over the universe just waiting to assist you in becoming your perfect divine self. Thank you for listening to these videos. Thank you for all that you are doing to become your true divine self. I am Metatron, and I bless you with all my heart.